I'm not traveling anywhere for a week or so, so I thought I would do an unboxing video. Never really understood those. Reminds me of going to a birthday party when somebody else got to open all the presents. Hey everybody, I'm Kenny and this is Sagebrush Soul and we're going to be unboxing and assembling and doing a quick test on the direct aftermarket premium heavy duty motorcycle carrier. Now this was a cheapo that I bought off Amazon. I'm just hoping that it's sturdy enough. If not, I got a welder, I can build it up. And of course, Anthony Busico, who runs our Quad Wars Racing with Little Little Productions, texted me after he saw the zombie bike video and said he had one he'd give me. We'll see how this holds up. Either way, I'm going to get that one from Anthony. I guess we'll just get started. Is that how you do it? So the reason I got one of these is I want to... Yeah, couldn't have heard me talk over that. I want to haul it behind the RV, but also be able to throw it behind my pickup so I don't have to fill the bed up with stuff. And this is rated at 500 pounds. And the heaviest of the two bikes that I have right now only weighs 250 pounds. So hopefully by going halfway, it'll make up for the inexpensiveness, but so far it feels pretty solid. I'm guessing that's the ramp that you drive on and off of this thing with. Looks pretty short for the height of my truck, but it'll be great for the RV. I am seriously gonna cut off a limb with this thing. Okay, this is good for an intro, but let's get it real nice. These are the supports, I guess. Part of the rack, I guess. That's stout. There's the nuts and bolts. And another one of these. So far, I'm pretty impressed with it. You can see it is the 14 gauge fits on there. So I'm guessing with the powder coating, it's 16 gauge, which it's not too shabby. Some of the Harbor Freight stuff is a lot flimsier than that. So, so far it feels pretty solid. The welds look pretty good other than y'all have seen me weld. So I might not be the best judge. The instructions were pretty straightforward. The best tip I can give is to leave the bolts loose until everything is assembled, then go around and tighten everything down at the end. One thing that might be a little confusing is the anti-tilt block. This keeps the carrier from tilting in the receiver. To use it, slide the block in the carrier base and line the hole in the block up with the hitch pin hole. Keep the carrier level as you lift it to the receiver so the block doesn't slide down into the base. Line up the holes on the carrier and receiver. If the block moved in the carrier, you can use the bolt to line them back up. Insert the bolt through the receiver, carrier, and anti-tilt block, but only give it a couple of turns to leave some play to line up the lock cylinder. Then tighten the bolt and secure it with a pin. So far I'm very pleased with the carrier. It's easy to use and the construction seems solid and it still only weighs 60 pounds but the real test will be how it handles on the road, so I'll be reporting back. Thanks for watching, and may the best of your past be the worst of your future.